Once you've gained access to Roper iPoll, you'll be pre presented with their search interface. It will allow you to search for keywords. You can also select uh, interview dates. You can then click the additional search filters option, which allows you to narrow your search in different ways as well. What Roper iPoll allows you to do is search through the responses to over 725,000 questions. It's a very vast collection of uh, interview questions. Also additional studies where those studies have conducted interviews with uh, people around the world. These would include things like Gallup polls, uh, newspaper polling data, and the very powerful thing about iPoll is that it allows you to get a host historical perspective about certain topics. So if you were interested in looking up keywords related to, uh, let's say, the, you know, the legalization of marijuana, you can do that as a search. And what it will pull in, in this particular case, there are 43 questions. There are various studies and data sets, or 94 of those. You can narrow your results based on whether or not uh, you have information or understanding of sort of statistical uh, nomenclature here to the left. But generally speaking, what you can do is pull up a result like this question. Do you think the legalization of marijuana use is good for the local economy, bad for the local economy, or doesn't have much effect? This was a survey done by CBS News. It was done, uh, conducted by a certain research solutions group, and it was conducted in 2019, specifically between a range of four or five days uh, in um, April. So that will give you some results. The same types of questions might appear down below. And if you keep scrolling, you'll see that these questions go back a little bit. Uh, 2016, we have 2014, 13, et cetera, 10. So what you can see over time is the change in public opinion or attitude towards certain topics. Let's take a look at some of these results. And I'm going to first, let me just click on that first one we pulled up. I'm going to click on the linked title. It will then show me the question and it will break down the responses for me. I can to the right, click on the site button and it should provide me with uh, various citation styles, which I can select. This is defaulting to a, a general uh, style you, get, you have to pick, but MLA 7th edition, I believe we're now on the 8th edition, so you may have to tweak this slightly, but the basics are all there, how you would cite this. You can then gather this data in a lot of different ways. You can copy the image, you can download the data into a, as a file, and then of course you can go back to your list of results and select on a different one. If you'll notice, you have other possibilities down here. These are different data sets. So this is uh, a, a collection of all these uh, numbers and the data related to specific questions. So in this case, thinking about next year, what issue would you most like the next Congress to act on in 2019? That is a more of an open-ended question. So when you have a data set, you'll have a number of different answers, one of which we can assume will be the legal the legalization of marijuana because that was what we searched for. And so as you click on these, you'll be able to get uh, different formatted versions, things that might open up in Excel or might work in a Google spreadsheet. You can click on the result you'd like and take a look. In this case, I'm looking at a little bit more of the methodology they used, percent uh, margin of error. So there's a 3% margin of error at 95% confidence. And then you can... Um, it has a DOI link, which is something you would use to cite this particular document. It's a very robust collection, and you can sort of go down some rabbit holes with it. Like I said, you have additional search options at the main page, but it's a really fun research tool to use specifically for argumentative topics or research topics that are changing over time or the public perception has changed over time. You can dig into that very nicely. If you have any questions about how to use iPoll further, don't hesitate to reach out to one of the librarians. We're more than happy to help. Take care.